in a couple of the things that we've piloted, we've, we've got a couple digital textbooks and iPads on classes that we're piloting, and from that particular company, uh, we can get back uh, student login, log out, and uh, some metrics of student activity. And so that kind of stands in contrast to what we've been unable to get at anything external. The, the little uh, suite of academic apps that our own folks wrote internally back in the summer of 2008 before the App Store was even open, mm -hmm. we could get hits and, and so on for, but uh, that's been a challenge kind of all along the way. Um, I think just in terms of faculty uh, app use and entrance or maybe development through this whole process, it seems to me, and I mentioned this yesterday in, in the presentation, I think our, we're seeing patterns where our faculty are entering in what we would call administrative tasks. So an attendance app, uh, class roster, pushing out class assignment due dates, the calendar, everything from the course documents being online, and then we're we continue to try to move faculty along to pick that first classroom app to tinker with and pilot with and get enough tech support to, to help it to be successful soon anyway. And then uh, including some out of classroom activity, either a precast podcast on the front end or the blogs or some other activity on the back end. Mm -hmm. Is this a concern? It is. In fact, we're um, doing um, an educational research study, um, two different studies, one with our anesthesiology department that um, is requiring the, um, the residents to uh, have iPhones, um, providing lecture capture, um, using responseware for assessments, um, providing a mobile app. Of the, they have to learn 15 different procedures, so um, an app that, that teaches them these 15 different procedures that they can use as a reference tool. Um, and we're going to track their performance on uh, their board scores and, and those things. Um, and then the other thing that we're doing, um, because we are an academic health sciences um, center, um, we're also doing a breast cancer app for patients. And we're, um, we're doing an educational study on that to see how providing, um, providing a patient that gets diagnosed with breast cancer um, uh, an iPad with this application on there that takes them from the diagnosis through their through their treatment. So we're going to capture yeah. data on that, and, and the iPad provides some of that data. And some of the manufacturers of, of different apps now also include different data tracking, um, very granular to tell exactly what part of the app or what part of the content they're spending the most time in, and so you can track some of that data. That's become a more popular feature. Right.